Good morning, John. Two weeks ago, I woke up in LA with the goal of packing in as much internet creator hangout time as possible. Here is my journal of what I've done so far with all of the sleeping and driving time taken out. It all began when a certain German DJ came to my Airbnb. Then we went to see our friends Greg and Kim, had dinner with John Cozart, went on a walk around Santa Monica, shot not too deep with Grace Helbig, had Megan Camarena and Lee Newton over for dinner. Once a year, they all go to the desert and get naked. <laughs> Spent a day with Rhett and Link and shot a good mythical morning. Then went out to the launch party for Dish, an app that's like Yelp, but for individual dishes at restaurants that Ingrid, Grace, Mamrie, and Hannah have been working on. Shot some stuff at SourceFed, then you came to town, we had dinner. Hey John, what are you talking about? Soccer. Shot two just between us's with Gabby and Allison. Got a parking ticket. So confusing. Hung out with Derek from Veritasium, then went to Megan Tondras' house to hang out with cool people and watch creepy YouTube videos. Chilled a bit with Tyler. I got a big question for you. What? what? Explain the cloud. Then went to the They Might Be Giants concert where I ran into Steve Zaragoza from SourceFed. Had breakfast with friends, then spent a full day at a collab camp, which is a totally new idea to me, but where I met a ton of YouTubers, and then had dinner with Jake and Michael of Vsauce. Spent a full day at BuzzFeed where I made a bunch of stuff and talked to a bunch of cool people, but only filmed this one clip. Shot a thing Google's working on, had lunch with Mayim Bialik, then went to Three Black Dot to talk shop and play with the HTC Vive, then had dinner with Matt Pat of The Game Theorists. Went shopping with Heartbeat and Foxy at The Grove, had a quick chat with Markiplier, followed by dinner with Hannah Hart, her sister Maggie and Mitchell Davis, and I still have so much more to do. Shooting YouTubers reacts, recording with the Gilmore guys and Travis McElroy. More fun, more friends. John, I am a fan. I'm a careful fan, but once I am a fan, I am an unabashed fan. There's an element in my appreciation of other people's work that's more of like, I want to be like them. I want to make things as good as what they make. And I think that's where some of my ambition comes from. But I also just simply enjoy liking them and the things they make. I like liking that stuff. Sometimes I like you gets caught up with I want to be like you. But those things are not the same thing and realizing that has been a really big deal for me. I really enjoyed this trip, but I do not want to live in LA because I do not want this fortnight to be normal. I need to be a step away. Being an observational fan is in a lot of ways better than being inside. I never want to lose the fan bit, otherwise these last weeks would not have been as invigorating or inspiring as they have. I am a fan of the things these people create. I am a fan of the fact that the internet has allowed them to do it. I'm just so pleased and feel so lucky. I get to be friends with the people I'm fans of. And in one case, I get to be brothers with them too. Which maybe makes me the luckiest fan ever. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.